y'all. APG Jamie here. And today I'm doing a same, you, me, same three with Tiffany and Michelle. Woohoo! 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 Um, anyway, Tiffany and Michelle had put out a call on the Instagram. So if y'all don't follow them on there, you need to. Anyway, they put out a call a while back for folks to send them the same three items. And they would use your three items. And if you do videos, you could uh, do a video and uh, they would all go out on the same day. Huh. So y'all know me. Any kind of publicity I can get. Mm. Oh, y'all. Yay, they accepted my stuff. Yay, they're going to use it. Yay, if you're watching this video, their videos are available for viewing too. Yay. <laughs> I must say, this the same challenge the same number the same stuff challenge is it's it is a fun challenge okay now i personally like to do my own thing and not even see what anybody else is doing any actually any challenge that i decide to do okay because i don't want to be swayed one way or the other i'm like oh well, i was going to do that and i have to think something yeah well yeah if you don't know what they're doing then it doesn't matter if you're doing the same thing does it because nobody's copying off of nobody, especially if you don't know what they're doing. Just saying. So anyway, I sent them a napkin. And I sent them, what else did I send them? Oh, I think it was a, um, a faux picture. Oh, Lord, listen to me now. I don't even know. Now, I don't even know. I think it was uh, off of... Um, a seven gypsy sheet of paper one of the images off of that and I have several of those pages anyway I think I think I think I think and definitely a quote because y'all know I like my quotes and um, the quote is uh, communication is subject to interpretation now that is a, a quote by me I had a thing a couple years ago a while back months ago I don't know when y'all I'm not a good judgment of time and um this girl told me that I didn't uh, communicate very well. And I went back and I looked at my email and I'm like, well, it's right there in the email. But I guess you would have had to interpret it correctly. Mm. So, yeah, something like that. I don't even remember the circumstance now for sure, y'all. But it was something like that. Somebody, you know, that's just like, you know, it's like you, you, just, you just didn't read that correctly kind of thing. Anyway, doesn't even matter now, does it? Because it doesn't, who knows what it was even about, because it doesn't even matter. But communication is subject to interpretation. He said, you said, we said. Mm -hmm. You, me, same three. Tiffany and Michelle. Michelle and Tiffany. And their links to their videos will be in the description box below, along with a list of ingredients for your curiosity pleasure. And be sure to leave them um, kind comments, likes, mm -hmm. share the video, y'all. Just silly fun. It was not silly, but it is fun nonetheless. So, uh, as y'all have been watching, I collaged down my napkin using matte medium. I don't know if you knew that, but that's what I used. And it's I just use plain cardstock because I'm a cardstock kind of girl. I do have heavy color watercolor paper, and I do that heavy color watercolor paper. <laughs> ah, heavy, heavyweight watercolor paper, lords of mercy. And uh, so I do use that on rare occasions, but you know, nonetheless, I have it. And uh, but this time we're doing cardstock, and we uh, oh, it's thundering and lightning, and oh, so frightening. <laughs> not really, Molly's Molly's not too scared this time. So anyway, um closed it down with the matte medium, put the matte medium over the top, and then we uh, used some um, Nouveau Expanding Mousse on there. It's like this texture paste, and if you can let it dry natural, and it'll be shiny. If you hit it with the heat gun and dry it with the heat gun, y'all, it puffs up. 
Uh huh. It really does puff up. And you can do some of it dry with the heat gun, some of it not dry with the heat gun. All right. And and you can use it like you would an ink goat. You know where you uh, just buff it over the the other stuff. It works that way too, and it dries, and it's wonderful stuff, y'all. Anyway, I'm not selling their stuff. I'm just that's what it was, and I like it. So, any hoots, we just went over it with the wash of uh, turquoise. It seems to be my go-to color lately. I don't know. I really like it. And what do we got out there? I think that's some gesso. But I'd be gesso in on that. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing journal pie. Oh, look at that fancy brush. Brushing off little who knows what, fuzzies, stuff. Oh, we're just going to knock it back a bit with some gesso, y'all. And you can still see the napkin kind of through there. Not a whole lot, but kind of. So, uh, I don't know if y'all watch Tiffany or Michelle. Uh, they both do really fun stuff. Journal pages, mostly, okay? And um, it's just fun stuff, y'all. Tiffany's always got something going on. And uh, anyway, you should. If you don't subscribe to him, maybe y'all think about it. Here again, y'all. I forgot to say that while ago. This is a bit of leftover scrapbook paper stuff that um, was laying over there on the counter. Y'all know how I stack stuff up? I have flat surface syndrome. got to stack something on it. And I saw it and I thought, you know what? I can use that. But they didn't get any of this. They just got the napkin, the quote, and the uh, the faux picture image from, from the uh, scrapbook paper thing that I cut out. Special just for them. So we're going to glue it down and we're using um, art glitter glue because it's got such a thin tip nozzle and it's a, a very liquid. I wouldn't say it was watery, but it's, well, it's way more watery than Aileen's. It's my favorite. Anyway, it's got a consistency almost like Elmer's glue. Almost. Okay? It's different. So, But anyway, it's got a fine tip on there. That's why I used it. Here's the image. Finally. And then at that time I had gotten a new die on Clarence somewhere. I don't know the name of the die, y'all, but it should be listed in the ingredients, which is in the description box. Click on the phrase, show more to see more information. Okay. So anyways, um, that's as long as the die is. And I just cut it out. Again, I had turquoise, you know, I put my scraps over there by my die cutting station so if I just need to test out a new die or whatever so I just cut those out and I'm like yeah let's use those okay so I decided to frame the girl so that's what I'm doing and then I had to piece that one together because I didn't have a fourth piece of card uh, die cut piece thing but that's okay we piece it together it's fine it's fine I said it's fine look it's perfect You'll see. It's perfect, y'all. Sure of it. Page makes me stinking happy. And this is a regular size piece of cardstock, which is 8.5 by 11 here in the U.S. That's where I am in the U.S. I'm in the, uh, the country of Texas. <laughs> Sometimes we identify as our own country, even though we're one of the states. Just saying. So we're going to glue our frame on. And I think I turned her into a pocket. But y'all know I say it all the time. If you hadn't heard, maybe maybe it's about time you started watching my channel. Anyway, I leave little, I make pockets and leave little spots for journaling and all kinds of junk like that. But really, I don't do a whole lot of actual journaling. And that's okay. You don't have to actually do written journaling in a journal. You can just make visual pretty stuff. And... Or not pretty stuff even. It doesn't always have to be pretty either for that matter. Goodness gracious, no. So, uh, I'm just going to, I don't know, I think I'm adding some, like, a little fold over error. That makes your pocket just a wee bit deeper than it would be if you just glued it flat on, just so you know. Because it's hard to get notes in, in little pockets if you just glue them flat on. Just saying. So, we're going to do that. 
And the reason I'm putting a back on it is because y'all saw we glued down the um, that scrapbook paper, which is kind of a stencil-y like paper, even though it's it's cardstock. I should say it's cardstock. It's kind of stencil-y like. But if you slide something in out of a pocket and it's on top of that, it's going to catch on all those little things catch 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 kind of thing and I, I gave everybody I printed out um, the phrase in three different sizes same font but three different sizes because I wasn't sure I wanted to give them options uh, well I wasn't even sure what I was going to do either to tell you the truth um, you know if they were going to do it tag or ATC or an actual journal page or whatever they would have a size choice you know if they was doing something little you wouldn't have these giant words on there or if they was doing something big you wouldn't have these teeny tiny words on there same difference and I decided I think I'm making oh I'm making an ATC <laughs> I think that's about what size it is I don't know it might not be that size probably close though it's going to go in the pocket. That's why I'm going to put my phrase on, on that right there. So, same napkin. I like that napkin, y'all. can't remember where I got it from. It looks like a, um old-timey um, lace tablecloth or lacy-looking wallpaper or lacy-looking handkerchief. Y'all remember handkerchiefs? If not, Google it. Mm-hmm. Hankies. Ladies used to carry hankies. Mamas carried hankies all the time. Usually tucked in their sleeve or in their bosom so they could wipe their snotty nose kids. What does that have to do with this? You know what? Communication is subject to interpretation. <laughs> Y'all know I believe in serendipity. And for me, so often serendipity just falls in my lap. I'm like, wow! So there you go. Maybe that's what that whole, that whole quote was to go for. Y'all, it's raining good. We needed this rain, just saying. Just in case you weren't aware of that fact. I'm glad it's raining good. I know sometimes I get carried away with myself. Some say I like the sound of my own voice. I can assure you it sounds different in my head than it does in your ears. Okay? Okay. So I um, uh, put my quote up on some of the scraps of that um, turquoise cart. See, see, that's a little leftover cart. Y'all can see why I didn't have another piece. To, I could have got a whole new sheet, but I don't want to. Why do I want to go get a brand new sheet when I got these nice little tidbits over here I can use? Or as Tiffany calls them, giblets. I, yeah, they, really, they are kind of giblet aren't they? So I'm eking around them. Y'all know I don't do that all the time, but this time I am. I'm being fancy and junk because it's fancy, y'all. It's time to be fancy today. Mm hmm So there we go. Conclude all our words on now. That's the needle out of the, the, the tip on that glue. Because sometimes I don't have fingernails. When I cut my fingernails, y'all know I don't I don't have much left to pick anything up with. That one I just stuck in the glue. I'm like, that'll work. Any hootsies. Now we're going to ink again. Or just on that one edge, I guess. Because some of them, you know, they're, they have the die cut edge on there. And I thought, well, I like that. It makes it unique. Oh, and obviously I had a little piece of leftover um, that scrapbook stencil -y, whatever that thing was. And oh, look, here's some hearts. Let's put some hearts on it. Cause who doesn't need more heart? We're going to ink that thing too. Wow, I really am getting fancy inking all these edges like that. It happens sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Who is calling me? Oh, it's a reminder. Probably a reminder to do a voiceover. That <laughs> I get those. I have to remind myself to do voiceovers and all that kind of good stuff. Now, it looks like I punched out three hearts. I don't know if I used all three of them. I don't remember, y'all. And it's got to be an ATC size because it's, a, it's a, got my ATC back on there. I don't know when I glued it on. We weren't watching when I was doing that. It was probably, I don't know, taking a nap or eating lunch or something. 
I'm so happy with this page, y'all. Y'all know I like to try to fill every spot with something. This one, well, I guess it is all filled up if you look at the um, that that embossing mousse stuff we put on there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't leave much restful spots for the eye to land. Not really. Sometimes it could happen. Working on it. So we're going to pop up. What are we popping up? We're popping up our hearts. Because all hearts have to be popped up. <laughs> they don't have to be. I want them to be. So I think I put the quote on this. My goodness. Now, you know, it's just been like 20 years ago since, since I filmed this. It feels like. I don't know. I did film it as soon as I mailed the stuff to them because I thought I'm going to do it and that way I'll have my video done and then whenever they are able to do it then we'll just all do it together. Okay? That's the plan. That's, that was my thought. It worked out pretty good that way except somebody forgot to do the voiceover and now they feel like they have to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and they really don't have to hurry up. Here we go. You can tell it's slightly different time because some of the background changed. How y'all like that fade? Oh, we're going to put some diamonds or is that pearls? I think I used pearls, y'all. Could be diamonds. I don't know. I can't tell from here. Do y'all remember what the thumbnail looked like? Was it diamonds or pearls? Oh, for heaven's sakes. Either way, it's real. They're real diamonds or real pearls. Real flat backs. From the craft store. Probably, who knows, could have been a dollar store. All right. Only about 20 more minutes in the video, y'all. Y'all know I like to do the 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 more minute. Oh, look. How cute. A washi tape. That's what else I sent them was washi tape. The napkin, the image. Oh, well, that's four things. Oh, I didn't send them the Evan. Bless my heart, y'all. I'm sorry. Well, y'all would have figured that out, especially if you've already watched their videos. You're like, uh-uh, APG, they didn't get that image. <laughs> it's a napkin, the war she tape, and the quote. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, I really did record this after I seen it, but... I didn't I didn't voice over. It's like, yeah, it's twist that girl, get her on there. They did not get the image of the girl. I probably only had one. She might not have been off that paper. I don't know where she's from. Oh, it should be listing the ingredients in the instruction in the instruction box. Description box. There's no instructions in this, y'all. I don't be tutoring. I don't be tutoring. I'm like, oh, I almost forgot to use the washi tape, especially since I forgot I even had the washi tape. Washi. And put an R in there or not put an R in there. However, like, however you want to pronounce it. We're going to ink on something. Oh, we're going to ink around the whole page, y'all. Super fancy. I think we're about done with it, though. And I like putting on, and I learned this from Rach 0013 or, or whatever the numbers are on her name. Um, she would ink with a color, bring it into her page, her surface, I should say, and then ink around that with the black, and that just really just adds so much. Oh, we're putting a quote straight on the page. I had had myself convinced we put it on that ATC. I should have watched this video before I did the voiceover. Rewatched the video before I did the voiceover because I did edit it. It's been a while. It's been like 20 years, y'all. Goodness gracious. Now I look like an idiot in front of these two two strangers. Don't even know me. Let's put some ribbons on there. Because I had ribbons that was kind of that color. Kind of kind of close enough. Staple it on there. Staple it, staple it. So now my artist trading card is now a tag. <laughs> you can use them for that, y'all. Just saying. You know. You're the boss of your stuff, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So we're making that just a little bit shorter for whatever for whatever reason. 
tucking it in. Mm-hmm. Ta-da! Look it, look it. Photo montage. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you, your kind comments, your likes, your subscriptions, your shares. If you've not already done so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe at this time. Click the bell for notifications if you have your YouTube account set up to receive notifications. Those were diamonds. We used real diamonds on there, y'all. So they got the quote, the napkin, and the washi tape. Thanks for watching. And happy arting, y'all.